The final step of the tutorial in Power World is defeating your first boss, Zoe and Grizzbolt. This fight actually took me three tries and I'm gonna walk you through how I defeated it. I could go on and on about what I love about this game, but what really surprised me about this boss fight was how mechanically intricate it was. The whole dynamic of having a pet battling that you can summon and return at any point layered with the Soulsborne-like style of combat is just so dang fun. You'll need to craft some armor including a chest and a headpiece unless you're just that good at dodging. By the third time I fought the boss, I actually was almost perfect with dodging attacks, but if you're struggling, the armor will help a lot. I used the triple shot bow and had 150 arrows. The first two times I failed the boss, I ran out of arrows and failed after trying to melee the boss. For most of the fight, you want to stay out of melee range so that you can crit with every attack, but have time to react to some of the mechanics. Grizzbolt's first mechanic is a conal lightning orb, which comes very fast that you either want to step between the orbs or dodge roll as they get to you. Grizzbolt also uses a lightning attack that travels in a straight line towards you very quickly. I found this to be the most difficult attack to avoid, but you just need to dodge roll right before it gets to you. You cannot line of sight this attack by hiding behind a pillar. One of his attacks is a series of lightning orbs that are launched at your current location. This is avoided easily by strafing left or right. He does a lock-on laser that will fire a lightning bolt, very similar to the Guardians in Breath of the Wild. This can be avoided by dodging at the last second, or more easily by line of sighting the attack behind a pillar. If any of his abilities are cast on your pal, you can return your pal and then resummon him. This is especially effective on this laser attack. There will be moments in the fight where he just walks towards you menacingly and does nothing else. He will do an AoE electric attack once he's in melee range. Just dodge roll away once he gets close enough. His last mechanic is a series of jumping attacks. You'll just need to dodge roll right before he lands on top of you. The third jump is slightly staggered. I was level 11 when I completed this fight and I found that the most effective pal was actually Fox Sparks because of the mud shot ability it could use that was super effective. Overall, I was super impressed with this fight and I'm excited to see what's in store later on in the game. Let me know if you found any additional strategies in this fight to make it easier. Yeah,